Hey, Dr. Lee, welcome to the in-person job interview. Let me show you around the campus. <gasps> You're pregnant. Yes, I am. It's a problem? Nine months pregnant. Almost all women in their career is going to go through those challenges. They're either pregnant, staying in the current job, or they're changing a new job while being pregnant. In this situation, should you disclose your pregnancy before or after your job offer? And when to bring up the pregnancy discussions, especially in your third trimester in your in-person interview, and you're walking with a huge watermelon. And how not to get lowballed or the offer get rescinded just because pregnancy discrimination. In this video, I'm gonna cover is pregnancy discrimination real or not? How would you deal with those challenges? And make sure to stay until the end of this video where I share with you how would you still be able to negotiate high job offer without getting lowballed even if you're pregnant. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product and feature in Forbes. I've helped 100 people land their dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. If you're interested in product management course, go to pmaccelerator.io. To learn the most effective way to become product manager, you subscribe to our channel, turn on the bell button to notify every time I post a new video every Tuesday. If you like any free tips we provide today, make sure to hit the like button because it's the only way YouTube algorithm will recognize me. Pregnancy discrimination is a very sensitive topic. Most people do not want to admit it and let's understand does pregnancy discrimination exist or not it is true it existed in many different places especially different types of discriminations happen in big tech companies small startups all over different kind of places and for example there is a wall street journal news article about a young woman who was a software engineer working for google she was sexually harassed by her manager and then she reported this case to hr but hr didn't take her side at all she started to get demoted eventually no longer work for google anymore but right before she disclosed all the sexual harassment harassment she was all-star employees does this change her career dramatically and that's why the case was even reported by Wall Street Journal and if you look up online there are so many different cases like this however the good news is that there are different kind of laws such as pregnancy discrimination act which is designed to help women all around the world in different places and also believe that almost all the women who work for corporate America is going through those kind of challenges they're either getting pregnant during work or they had to take a break because they were pregnant or had a baby or they're changing jobs during pregnancy. So all of those are very challenging, especially pregnancy discrimination actually exists. How do I know all of this? It's not, not just based on reading news articles, it was based on all the facts I have seen. So I was a director of product who used to work for abortion and fashion companies and managed both men and women and different ages, different gender, different races. And actually there's a lot of dark side of the stories the most HR never tell you because they took the employer side. And also one of my best friend is the HR, she actually admitted to me that lots of time when those kind of challenging discrimination cases came up, she decided to take the employer side because it was asked by the employer so that she can keep her job by being a great HR for the company not for the employee. In the past couple of years, I've coached more than 10 women who were pregnant, and several of them told me that their offers was low-bought after they told the company that they were pregnant. One of them even sent me really long voice messages and told me that how challenging her situation is and really encouraged me to teach other women how to deal with pregnancy discrimination cases. That's why I filmed this video today. So why I dare to tell you the truth behind the stories was because I don't work for anybody, I work for myself. That's why I'm not afraid of getting fired by corporate America. It doesn't matter, but I really want to show all the women out there what's the best way to protect yourself because I have seen the dark side of the force. It's very dangerous. Number two, should you disclose pregnancy during or after job offer? Especially if your third trimester is about to deliver a baby very soon. Now here comes a true story. For example, in the past, one of my students, she lent three offers and actually one of those offers came from Amazon. But after Amazon discovered she was pregnant and literally her offer salary was low bought she actually deserved to get paid more. And then she learned from her lesson when she interviewed with other fortune fashion companies, she didn't talk about her pregnancy at all. And towards the end, she, her offer was even higher than how much Amazon offered her. 
And of course, I believe that pregnancy discrimination doesn't happen in all the companies and only happen to some companies, but actually exist and also depends on company culture. But in general, for example, Amazon's culture has a very intensive uh, competitive culture. If any employee is currently working for Amazon, if you are pregnant and you took maternity leave, once you come back from your maternity leave, your existing job and project was taken by someone else because Amazon only allowed you to take a pause for two months and they're gonna hire someone else to do your job. And then you start over to find a new project, new positions within the own company. I also have some other student who actually went into in-person interview when she was nine months pregnant, but guess what? She still land a job offer. Can you imagine that one to an interview with a huge watermelon? This is crazy and challenging, but she was able to navigate it and really discuss her pregnancy very calmly and strategically. So therefore, in general, I recommend all the women do not disclose your pregnancy until you have a job offer in hand. Of course, legally nothing preventing you talking about pregnancy before or after you have a job offer in hand or not. You just need to make your own personal choice. Right now, just based on all the lowball offers and all different kind of pregnancy cases my students have gone through, in general, I recommend you do not talk about it until you're sure that company is interested in your raw talent that's independent of your pregnancy or not. Of course, if you see some companies are very friendly and it's a woman-owned company, and maybe they have more friendly policy in terms of pregnancy, and you should totally discuss pregnancy earlier if you wish. So do you agree or disagree with what I said? Or have you experienced pregnancy discrimination or see other people went through all the challenges? Comment down below. Now let's talk about how to talk about pregnancy after you receive a job offer or during your in-person interview, especially if you are in your third trimester, there's no way you can hide. It's very challenging. If it's a virtual interview, you receive the job offer. And I will tell HR regarding the pregnancy by saying the following, saying that I am actually pregnant. My due date is ABCD date, which is several months from now on. Um, what I can do is I am happy to work until now or before my pregnancy and take three months off. And during the three months off, I am okay to not get paid because I'm new to the company. Or you can directly discuss and negotiate with the HR based on when your due date is. For example, one of my students, she was nine months pregnant when she went into an in-person job interview. So there's no way to hide. She only had one month left and the baby can actually came out any moment. So she and HR basically have a very honest conversation and she proactively bring it up saying that I really like the company and I know I'm the best candidate for this role. If you ever offer me a job offer, I like to take the full maternity leave without paid and I officially, officially start this new job after I come back from maternity leave. And during the whole time, I'm more than happy to do some work for free or do some market research on my own and really learn about the company culture, about the customers. And everything I can do is to demonstrate that I'm very royal to the company and I'm coming back. I just need three months off without paid. Now I have a final reminder to all the women who are pregnant out there. First of all, congratulations. And I believe that having a baby and starting your own family is one of the best thing ever could happen to anyone's life. And I believe that one of the best thing could happen to your life. You should be very happy about it. And it is true, it's kind of challenging to even talk about and navigate the negotiation process in terms of pregnancy. However, regardless what choice you make after watching this video, I'll be fully supporting you because you're just one of millions of women who go through those challenges, all through this together. Let's just be smart and really own our own career, build our future together. Any choice you make, I'll be proud of you. Do you have any job interview coming up? I suggest all of you guys to watch this free training on interview questions and answers. Get ready for your upcoming interviews and de-stress and get ready to land your next high paying job offer. This is Dr. Nancy Lee. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.